Tuesday, March 8th, 2022, when I'm filming this. Uh, it's about 5.30 a.m. Temperature outside is actually pretty good this morning. Minus three or uh, 26 and a half degrees Fahrenheit. I'll take it. I'm not too sure what's on the agenda for today, but I'm ready. So much for that truck wash yesterday. But at least we're not adding to yesterday's dirt, I guess. Today's dirt is enough by itself. The road's not very slippery, but uh, we got traffic here that's driving very cautiously, which I guess is better than the opposite. It has the potential to get very slippery today. We're expecting another snowstorm. Did you forget that I'm located in Manitoba? If you did, now you know. We're expecting another snowstorm. Because Manitoba. That's why. This winter's been uh, a real winter. We'll call it that. It's been a real winter. The winters I remember from my childhood. Got a lot of snow everywhere and more is on the way. That's what happens in springtime though. The weather starts warming up and the blizzards start rolling in. It's messy. Look at all the snow piled up here, eh? More on the way. I don't know which one of you out there is praying for more snow. Uh, could you please stop? We've got enough. I know you want to go snowmobiling or skiing, but uh, the rest of us don't want to be buried forever. Hey, look at all this. Look at all this. Wow. You know, I was thinking the other day, imagine if it just never stopped snowing for like 100 years. This is only snow from what? Like a few months? Imagine if it just snowed like twice a week, like a big blizzard for 100 years. How much snow would be on the ground? I mean, everything would be buried. It'd be crazy, we'd have another ice age. Terrible thoughts, terrible thoughts. I'm sorry to even put those thoughts into your head. This is all I had to deliver here. Just a bunch of empty barrels. Nothing in them. Bunch of sailboat fuel once again. They're just gonna go into their yard here and they'll be off. So far this is uh, the only thing going on this morning, but I'm sure that's changed by now. By the time I'm done this, there'll be something else. And here we are again. Got about a half mile visibility. Traffic is moving quite slow. We're in for another blizzard. So there wasn't much to do today because of the weather rolling in. Slow day and on top of that, we have this weather. Tomorrow I'm going to Glenboro, Manitoba, which is uh, south central-ish, a little southwest Manitoba. I guess southwest, sort of. And, uh, then we're headed back to Winnipeg after that. So a little bit of a hike tomorrow, but we'll see what happens because of this weather. Uh, the weather out west is usually worse than here on the east side of the river. On this side, we got a lot more trees, though you can't see them right now because all we see is snow. But uh, we have a lot more trees on this side of the river, which slows the wind down. But on the west side of the river, it's all open prairies for the most part. So it's... Uh, there's nothing really to slow down the, the blizzards there. So they get much worse weather on the west side than we do here on the east side. So we'll see what happens. Uh, tomorrow we'll see how good the roads are. Hopefully this storm blows through overnight and they can get all the roads cleared because right now, out that way, all the roads are closed. And I'm thinking this road here, we're on Highway 59 south here. This highway is probably going to be closed too, very soon. So like the highway itself is nice. Like it's not even that slippery. It's like ish, slippery-ish. 
but it's winter, right? It's, it's a typical winter highway, typical winter traction, except for here where you got trees and bush. That's where the snow sort of sits, get some ice building up. I'm talking to those people who don't live in winter climates, if you're wondering. Everyone who lives in a winter climate, I know I'm talking to the choir here, you guys know this already. But for those of you who don't live in this kind of climate, I'm trying to explain it a little bit for you. So once it opens up, then you get better traction again. It's just people are going slow because of these slippery sections and also because of the reduced visibility. As soon as we get past all these settlements, all these homes and stuff, and it's just open fields. Oh boy, yeah, someone's there really slowing down here now. Really slowing down here. Okay, we're almost stopping. What's going on here? You see, when I'm losing traction on the highway or when I have to slow down faster than I was expecting to, what I do is I go and I put my passenger side tires onto the gravel. That's a gravel shoulder there. Even though it's covered in snow, you'll have much more traction there and I can stop quicker. For those of you who don't live in a climate like this, just after this vlog, just go outside and take a deep breath and uh, hug your nearest palm tree for me, please. I'd appreciate that. And here we go out into the open again. The wind starts picking up. Just nasty. But usually in these open sections, you get better traction because the snow doesn't sit on the highway. So it gets slippery here around the trees because the snow doesn't blow off the highway, it just sits there. And then people drive over it and pack it down and it turns into ice. This is all just a skating rink here right now. I'm just gonna silently just carefully glide right over it. No sudden movements. Leaving lots of room between me and that guy up there. The guy behind me is doing the same for me and I appreciate that. I really don't want anyone slamming into the back of me. I mean, not like it'd be my fault. When you hit someone from the back, it's your fault. But then I gotta sit around, do all kinds of insurance papers. I don't got time for that. I don't wanna do that. I hate paperwork. Just don't run into me. Man, just nasty. I bet you our yard at home is just one big snow drift again. It just never ends this winter. I really wish I owned a snowmobile. That would be great. Look at this truck just appears out of nowhere. Just poof out of the snow clouds. Thanks. You want to make sure you got all your lights on, right? Make sure people can see you coming. Oh, this guy's turning left here, okay. You see, that's why I don't leave my hazards on all the time when people behind me can clearly see me. I'll only turn them on if I can't see anybody behind me. That way, when they're coming up to me, they know I'm going much slower than the posted speed limit. But if they're right behind me, that guy can see me. No need to have that constant ticking the whole time. Like, what does that help? It's just supposed to be to warn people behind me who can't see me. Or did one of his lights burn out, or is he actually turning left? I'm confused. See, a lot of people have their hazards on the entire time, and I understand that, and it's, that's okay. It's just to give, peop to give you better visibility, or to give other people better visibility of you. It's nasty. I can't do a good Cleveland voice. Nasty. Are you turning left? I'm confused because you've had your signals on now for who knows how long. Okay, now you turn it off. So you're not turning left, now you're going straight. Okay, at least we're on the same page. Easy does it. Easy does it. Oh, oh, oh. You see, also when you have your hazards flashing like this, it's harder for me to tell when you're actually braking, unless if I can see that third brake light in the center above, above the window there, because the brake lights won't come on because they're being used for the hazards. 
So when you brake, people behind you don't necessarily see it as clearly that you're slowing down. That's another reason I don't always use my hazards. Only when I have to. I realize in Europe and other parts of the world, uh, you have orange signals on the back. Here in North America, they can get away with just using the same lights as the brake lights, the red lights as brake lights and signals. Same, same bulb does both. I kind of like the idea Europe has better of where they have separate amber signals. It's, uh, it would solve that problem of the four ways and brake lights being used at the same time. Slowing down again. Take her easy, guys. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. I'm in no hurry. I'd much rather arrive late and alive than be dead. Sort of my thing. Yeah, we got uh, eighth of a mile visibility here now. Maybe a quarter mile. We made it back safe and sound. That was some slippery, slippery roads. That is definitely the iciest road I think I may have ever driven on. It was like just smooth, smooth like hockey rink ice with water on top of it because yeah, it was melting. It's a warmer day. It was insane. We were going like 40, 50 kilometers an hour most of the way. And it's a 100 kilometer an hour speed limit. So, I mean, everyone was going really slow. But it was nice to see everybody giving proper distances uh, behind me. Uh, so that no one would run into me. Because uh, even the slightest breath of wind wanted to push me. Push me sideways already. And it's just... It was nice to get back here. But it took twice as long to get back. And now I'm just uh, working on the video here, pretty much putting it together for you guys. It's kind of a short one today, not much to share with you, but that's how some days go. You guys know that. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, down below in the description, uh, there's all kinds of links in a, and a whole description of who I am and where we came from, what we're doing, and links to my social media. You can find me there if you want. And uh, we're back at it tomorrow, as long as the weather agrees with us. Uh, we'll see. There's a blizzard outside here right now, and... Uh, We'll see. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's going to take me quite a while to get everything set up in here. And uh, uh, one of you uh, commented, or actually more than one of you, there's been a, almost probably half a dozen of you who have commented and asked if, at the front of the shop here, if I am able to uh, build a second story, sort of like as an extra storage up there. I don't think that's in my plans. I don't want to build... Uh, I don't want to build a second story in here. I don't want to build anything too permanent, or at least not just yet. We'll see how long we stay in here. I'm, I'm planning on being in here from henceforth, from now until indefinitely. I really like this space. It's really nice, and it uh, came at a really good price. So uh, we'll see what happens. But for now, I'll get some temporary shelving in here. Uh, once we get new furniture for the house, the wife's already given me the green light to bring our furniture from the house in here. So I have a couch and stuff. I'm going to bring a little TV. Well, what a little TV. When I say little TV, what I really mean is uh, the biggest TV I can afford uh, in here. Uh, obviously, men understand when I say you know, little TV. And we're talking like 55-inch minimum. Okay, we're going to go for 65. That's what we have in our living room at home. But... We'll see. I mean, it is the man cave, and the man cave does deserve a big TV. I mean, it's kind of like a, a, a rite of passage, right? You have to have one of those. And uh, the walls in here, the drywall in here, weren't mudded. All the other ones were mudded, but for some reason, this one uh, was skipped. So before I'd get it painted, I'd have to get the, the drywall mudded so that I can uh, paint over it, and then, I don't know. I have no idea what my plans are, to be honest. You guys have given me lots of awesome things to think about. For now, I just want to get some shelving in here to get that product off the floor. And that's going to take a little while, too. you got to remember, we're still saving up for a house. The main part of my income is not going to be funneled into this. I don't want this to become a money pit. All, right, all of our money and our savings is going, well, first of all, towards IVF surgery, uh, the procedure. That's happening this month. And that's 
about 20 grand. So that's a big, big cost. And then after that, uh, we're still saving for our house to build, right? So this is a nice space. And that's all it really has to be. It doesn't have to be a super cool, awesome, like epic man cave right now. It's, it's just a space, it's a warm space. And uh, that's all it has to be right now. But we'll see what happens. I'm gonna leave it here. And uh, tomorrow, we'll see the aftermath of today's blizzard. Tune in then. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you later.